Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. On this channel, we spend our time looking at fantasy of all sorts, from books to movies to video games, and applying the characters within into the tabletop game Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Today, though, we're going to be looking at a core mechanic of D&D itself. Specifically, we're going to be having a look at the race known as the Changeling. The Changelings were originally printed in the Eberron book, and then reprinted in the recent Mordekainen's Monsters of the Multiverse. How do they work mechanically, though? Let's have a look-see how we could play as a Changeling. Now, the standard ability scores for the Changeling is that they get a plus two to their charisma, and then a plus one to any stat of their choice. Charisma being one of the most widely applicable stats in the whole game, I give that a 10 out of 10, and the plus one to anything, a standard 7 out of 10 for that. Changelings can also be either small or medium creatures. Changelings have the ability to pick, and later on they're going to have the ability to switch. So size, 10 out of 10, they get their, their choice. They have a standard speed of 30 feet, 9 out of 10 there, no complaints. They also have a skill called the Changeling Instinct. This grants them two extra skill proficiencies from a list of five very, very helpful skills. Extra skill proficiencies is always nice, and uh, the list is a really good one. So 10 out of 10 for that. And then comes their main feature, the one everyone's here for, the Shape Changer ability. Basically, as an action, they can copy the appearance of any other player race that they've seen. As long as they've seen a creature that is... Human, orc, elf, dwarf, anything. Any player humanoid race that, uh, you know, has a basic bipedal look to them, the, sh the changeling can look like them and look like them permanently. It doesn't change their stats. It doesn't give them any new abilities. It's just an appearance change, similar to the alter self spell, except it's done at will as an action and lasts until they either die... Like, even if they remain incapacitated, if they go incapacitated, this still has effect. Or if they change again. It's a really, really powerful ability that defines the changelings at their core. Allowing infiltration, allowing to live multiple lives, intimidation, persuasion. There's a million and one uses for changing your appearance. This is the entire spell, Disguise Self, is built around this, except this isn't an illusion. It's a physical alteration, which makes it even better. And it doesn't take a spell slot. This is 10 out of 10, and it's great. The other thing they have is languages. They speak common, like most people. And they get two languages of their choice, which is peak. Three languages from the start, two that you get to pick. You can't get better than that. 10 out of 10. Overall, the Changeling is a high 9 out of 10 race. Honestly, they, there's nothing wrong with them. They have a size of their choice, skill proficiencies, a permanent alter self ability, three languages, one of the best stats in the game, charisma, boosted from the beginning. They really do it all. And I think it's fair to say that of the races of Eberron, they are one of the most powerful and the most useful in the whole game of D&D. And I highly recommend checking them out. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes peeled for more racial reviews coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.